How are you? I'm doing good. I want to fix an appointment for my dad consultation. Yeah, I can come to my clinic from 10 to 4. Okay, we'll meet you at 11. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good morning. How are you feeling today? I'm doing good. Just a little nauseated and this. Well, it's normal in the early stages of pregnancy. Drink plenty of water, eat fruits and vegetables which are high in water intake. Could I change my usual diet pattern? You don't have to change your usual diet pattern. Just increase the quantity and the frequency of the diet you usually take and take additional micronutrients. I'm taking green leaf vegetables in an adequate amount as I read it is rich in iron. Then what are the essential uh, additional nutrients I can take? Yes, iron is really required as it helps in the process of erythropoiesis which is nothing but the RBC formation and you have to take folic acid which is crucial at this stage as it helps in the increase increasing in the birth rate and decreasing the birth defects. Got it. What's next? Oh yes, calcium. Calcium is crucial as it helps in the fetal's bone development, growth and for lactating women. Milk and other dairy sources are really good sources of calcium. That's not a problem. I love dairy. What else? Include fat, fatty fish, fat seeds and walnuts as they are rich in omega-3 fatty acids and you get your vitamin D from your exposure to sunlight. I strongly suggest you to breastfeed your baby for 6 months and continue till 2 years. May I know why breastfeeding is important? Breast milk contains all necessary nutrients like proteins, vitamins, minerals, iron, calcium and immunoglobulins which reduces the risk of infections for the baby. When should I start feeding my infant with solid foods? You can introduce food supplements after 6 months of breastfeeding and you can continue food supplements with breastfeeding. If these food supplements can be semi-solids. After 2 years, feed your toddler with omega-3 fatty acids as they are good for brain development, vitamin A for healthy vision and immune system and proteins and iron rich food. Further, I want to inquire about something that was bothering me. I have a niece at adolescent stage and a mother going through her menopause. So can you please suggest some essential nutrients that they can include in their dietary plan to improve their health? Growing children and adolescents in particular require more calcium. Encourage them to have more unprocessed foods like fruits, vegetables, healthy, healthy fats, whole grains, etc. Adolescent girls undergo more physiological stress due to their menstruation. They have to attain their nutritional needs to prepare them for motherhood. They have to take their nutrients according to their body weight. My mother is undergoing a lot of physical pain due to her menopause. What kind of nutrients she can include in her diet? Some key nutritional requirements for women undergoing menopause are calcium, magnesium, vitamin B, vitamin B12, B, etc. Generally, people of all age groups are encouraged to have varied diet from all food groups to attain their nutritional needs. Thank you so much for your guidance, doctor. Now, I am confident in feeling smart right from the start. To conclude, be it a fetus who is yet to see the faces of the earth or an old human who has seen all the faces of the earth, a nutritious diet is required for everyone to help in their proper body functioning and well-being. We hope you like our video on importance of nutritional requirements right from the start. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel MOP Randmark.